Hi, sorry I missed you last week. I was uh, away, I had to go to Austin, Texas uh, to see a friend of mine who is dying. I know that's a, that's a sad thing to talk about to a bunch of kids, but it's kind of the way life is. My friend has been my friend for a really, really long time and, uh, and he has cancer and that happens and it's a sad thing kind of wanted to talk to you about that because uh, things are going on, right? Lots of things are going on and it makes everybody kind of kind of jumpy. And I wanted you to hear me tell you that uh, I want you to, it's okay. You're going to be okay and your parents are going to be okay. And everybody's going to be okay. Because we have a, a thing here, uh, it, this church that's your church. And I'm excited that soon, uh, probably in July at some point, you, you'll get to be here, like we'll be together, which is really excited. But your church, what it says uh, to people is that uh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And one of the things we do in the Episcopal Church, your church, is uh, we do a lot of things with stuff, right? So I've got this stuff on, you know, and this tells you, this is, tells you something, tells you who I am. Um, but then we have this kind of stuff which is this prayer vigil that we've been doing. The church is open from 10 to 12 on Sundays, and uh, you can come. Uh, we just gotta wear a mask and sign in and make sure you use hand sanitizer and sit in certain places, but you can come. And you can come and do this. So what you do is uh, you get a match like this, and I don't, have a, I don't have a lighter, so I was gonna show you a trick. I think you can do it like this. I think, I think you do it like this. If I can't do it, I'm gonna go get a lighter. So uh, what I'll do is I go over here, you can't see me do it, and I'm gonna look in here where I think I keep them, and I do, and I got it. It's just like real church, right? I just have mistakes after mistakes. So anyway, so you get a lighter, this will already be lit, you fire it up, okay? It's lit, all right? And so what you do is you light these candles, these two are kind of permanently lit, oops. And then you, uh, you get those going. And then what you do is you sort of think about your friend. So I'm going to think about Chris, because he's important to me. And I'm going to light a candle for Chris. And then I'm going to light a candle for his wife. Her name is Tish. Light a candle for Tish. And he has two kids, so I'm going to light a candle for one of his children. Her, her name is Lily. And I ran out of juice there, so I'm going to light a candle for Lily. And then I'm going to light a candle for his son, Boone. So there's a candle for Lily and a candle for Boone. And then I put the match out. And what I have just done is I have taken something that's taken fire, uh, which is a, a very important thing. We need fire to cook our food. We need fire to keep us warm. We need fire to be able to see. And I've lit in a symbolic piece of that, a candle, thinking uh, and hoping that God uh, will see me and will hear me because I believe God sees and hears me. And then uh, it's in honor of the four people in particular. Sometimes I just light one. Uh, sometimes I, I light six. But I light them so that God can see what I see, which is my care for others. Because that's what prayer is, right? It's letting God know that we care for each other. So let's have a quick prayer together, and, uh, and then on into your day you'll go. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the gift of sight, for the gift of light, for the gift of your Son, who, is the, who we say is the light of the world. Help us to be lights to each other in the good times and in the hard times that everyone will know that we love you and you love us and together the world can be made better. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, bye.